What's up everybody? It's Rob from the Basement Bike Shop and today we're going to be doing a left hand drive conversion on my We The People Trust. Now I realized that this was going to be a really long video to do it step by step so I broke it into two videos. This one will concentrate more on the hub and the second video will concentrate more on the crank. Now the hub that we're working with today is the Salt Plus Trapeze Cassette Hub but most of your switch drive system cassette hubs are going to be nearly identical to this. So the first thing we need to do is flip this bike upside down if you don't have a bike stand. Um, if your back tire is still hitting the ground, put a brick or a block of wood under it and then I put a rag under the seat just so it doesn't scuff up my seat. Then we're going to loosen the axle nuts using a 17 millimeter socket. Yours might be different and you'll need an extension if you run pegs. If you have chain tensioners built in, then you're going to want to loosen those all the way so that your axle slides all the way to the front of your dropout. After that, we're going to disconnect the brakes if you're running brakes. Um, we'll start with the barrel adjuster on the lever. We're going to turn that all the way in. And then if you have one on the frame, we're going to turn that one all the way in too. And then you just squeeze the pads together against the rim and then pull the straddle cable out. Sometimes one end will come out, sometimes both. And then take the chain off. You're just going to push the chain off of the sprocket and turn it. Make sure you don't get your fingers caught in there. And then you're ready to just remove the wheel. After you get the wheel off, We'll take the axle nut off and the washer and then using an Allen wrench on the inside of the axle and you can do this on the side we're working on or you can put it on the back side. We're going to take the cone nut off and then we're going to pull out the driver. Now, as you can see, the direction of the pause is indicated by the diagram on the top. Right now, it's set up for right-hand drive. We're going to carefully slide them out. And then slide out the spring. And then switch it so that that spring is on the other side. And the paw is on the spring side. Now, there's a definite top and bottom to the spring and the paw so make sure that you don't screw that up and that the top is always on top when you switch it um, I like to do one at a time paw and spring and then slowly work my way around so I don't you know get all mixed up and take your time when you're wiggling it in and out I know people who have bent their springs And then just work your way around. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. But I took my time and one at a time. Made sure I didn't bend or break anything. And this is what it looks like all done. Converted to left hand drive. You can see that the paws match the diagram of the left hand drive. Next, we have to turn the ratchet ring in the hub around. To do that, first we have to remove the clip. Uh, you can use, uh, they have C-clip removers. Um, I try to just kind of pry one end out and then work my way around slowly so I don't bend it or damage it. And then once you have that out, you have to pull the ratchet ring out. And that's what the paws ride on. Now if you just have the hub without the wheel, a lot of times you can slam it into your hand and it'll come out. I used two Allen wrenches, tiny ones, and hooked it. And just kind of wiggled it out. It'll come out pretty easy. It's just very snug in there. And then you're going to flip it upside down. And put it back in. 
and then put our C-clip back in. I usually put in one end and then work my way around to the other end. And then put the driver in. Sometimes you got to kind of wiggle it around a little bit because the paws are sticking out. And Once you get that all the way in, put our cone nut back on. Insert our Allen wrench and use a wrench to tighten our driver back down. And now your hub is converted to left hand drive. As for the front wheel, a lot of times all you have to do is put the peg on the other side. Um, with ours, it has a hub guard that can only go on one side. So we actually are just going to take the whole wheel off and flip it around. So that the hub guard and the peg are on the right side. And that's about it for this video. The next video is the conversion of the three piece crank from right hand drive to left hand drive. If you want to watch that next, you can click on the link or there'll be a link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, support the cause, and I'll keep these videos coming. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, you can comment below or you can send me an email. Thanks.